What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this one we're gonna tackle a Photoshop tutorial and I will show you how to do images like this. So first of all, I need my AirPods. Okay. <laughs> There we go. So you're gonna grab one of your AirPods, make sure it's clean because mine are never clean. And uh, just take a shot of your AirPod while you hold it in your hand, leaving enough space at the top and uh, at the side. So I'm gonna just snap a picture real quick here. And yeah, hold it up here. And Okay, I got the shot. Now I'm just gonna transfer that picture to my MacBook. And I wanna open that in Photoshop. Now that I got this shot, I need the second shot, which is the Spotify widget. And I'm just gonna create it by choosing anything that I want to use, like a song that I'm gonna listen to. Let's say Fleetwood Mac. What you have to do is just put it on your Spotify, let it play. I'm gonna turn off the audio now and just go to your home screen and take a screenshot. And from there you can edit the screenshot so that in the end you gotta crop it of course so now that it now looks like this. I'm gonna send this one to my MacBook as well, open it in Photoshop as well. So first of all, I want to crop this even further. Like this. Press OK. And now I need to round the edges a bit because there are still these corners here. So I'm just going to press Command and the layer. And we're going to go to fill, uh, to Select, Modify and Smooth. and you can, like, that's preference, but I just always use 90 pixels. And you need to check the box in here. Apply effect at canvas bounce. And just press OK. And you're gonna see it rounded up quite a bit. Yeah, but it's not completely round. I don't like how that looks. So I'm just gonna go again to select, modify, smooth, and apply 30 pixels again. So now it looks much better. Now I need to get rid of these corners. So I'm just gonna press Command, Shift and I, which will invert the selection. Uh, choose the layer, of course, and delete. So now we got the thingy here. And we're gonna copy. I'll press Command and select. We're gonna copy it and put it in here. And by pressing Command and T, we can scale it to, yeah, to make it fit. What I always like to do is I just shift it a bit at an angle. Put it up here. Press Enter and we already got the, the most important part, the, the worst part in my opinion, which is just getting the shots and putting them together. Now, while selecting layer one, we're gonna go to edit, transform, warp. It's gonna create this mesh here. And in order for this effect to work, we just have to choose the bottom right corner and drag and drop it. As you can see, it already does the effect drag and drop it right here to the airport so it looks like the music is coming out of the airport. I'm just gonna adjust the height a bit. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, so this is how I create the effect. I really appreciate you watching. Please leave a like and follow and that's it for this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching again and 
see you in the next one.